What's going on, y'all? This is Kev the Barber with the classic, and we're here with the video that I posted on Instagram. Just a quick little side note: I went onto my phone, right? Pull up Instagram. See what I'm saying? Post this image, this video rather, and I say, look, 50 comments under this photo, and I'm gonna post this video because I, for some reason people don't be watching the tutorials. And look what these people did. You got uh, Alex Blaze posted like seven comments and we got like four comments right here y'all are hilarious but it's dope thanks for letting me guys letting me know you guys want to see this video because a lot of the time i post a tutorial and some people don't see them but anyway let's get right into this video so i start off with the line of demarcation this is slightly it's like this is zero gap is pulled back a little bit so that i can fade out that line better um i just literally just go around the ear here and it's nice and clean there are many ways that you can do the line of demarcation, how you take it out is fully dependent on how you put it in. <laughs> Pause. But, um, yeah, here now I'm just going up with a two and I'm going up off the ridge of the head and that's a side view so you can just see the angle. And I just come along and mimic the line at the bottom. I leave that bulk there on the bottom just for the last part, just so I can keep the shape. It allows me to see it, like have a good visual of what I'm supposed to be doing. Here I'm going up slightly about an inch and I'm flicking um, at the end right there and just coming around the head nice and clean like I like starting my my uh, guidelines clean um, keep them nice because uh, if you work clean the finishing product is clean and now this is a little trick I use so I don't lose my my no guard I put the, the guard on top of the dark spot and then go up just a little bit so if you realize that it's gonna create more space, the end, the, the one open is it's gonna create more space. So I don't go up that high, I just kind of nick it so I can create that line. Um, so see if you see right here, now I'm just gonna blend down from that area. Now I'm just using the one, I mean the, the one, the no guard, and I'm just making sure it's nice and even there. And look at how the blade, the corner of the blade is what I'm using. And I'm just closing it halfway. I go in thirds, um, go all the way open, halfway, then closed. Um, sometimes, if it's really coarse hair, I go three fourths. I mean, uh, I, I go by fourths or fifths. I mean, it all depends on how the, the hair is reacting. I recognize that with all these videos, you can't really see me fading the no guard. It's literally just that light. So I'm going to try and make a video that's specific to that. And here I'm just going up with the one and closing it. Let me know if you guys are interested in a video like that. And if there's anything that's confusing you in this particular video, please leave a comment down below. I'd like to be a little more detailed. I'm not always too sure what is confusing you guys. So I, I try my best to kind of guess. And the guessing is getting annoying. Like I really don't know. So here I'm using a, a half. If you really looked at it, that line was taken out with a one closed. Now I'm taking a half guard and going halfway. That is literally the same length as a no guard open. So... Or like it's literally in between it kind of so I'm using the corner of the blade just to blend that in um, if you look at that it's blending very nicely I flicked out with my no guard so I don't have to come back and take it out again um, depending on how harsh you make your lines it depends on how how much you have to spend time taking them out um, so here nice little technique clipper over comb it really saves time because as opposed to having to go from guard two to three to four it's all in your hand it's you can go from guard three to four just by a, a twist of the wrist so it's very important that you guys learn this technique I'm gonna have a full video on this you can uh, look at the card on the side to check out my clipper over comb video and if you want to see more detail on this specific haircut it would make this video way too long so leave a comment down below if you're interested in that as well um, here I'm just using that ride up method to fade from the one and a half to the bridge of the head here now I take out my one and a half and go halfway because there's a slight line there um, this is just me trying to be perfect this is the detail work here um, you can see that line right there if you can't see it then you just need to develop your eye that's why I say in my last video with the clipper over comb that the most important most important body part for a barber is the barber's eye more specifically it would be the brain because the brain is what allows you to see I won't get too scientific on you but I will say that if you want to improve your fading, improve your game, improve your style, make sure you watch many different videos, many different people, many different styles. That way, you'll be able to look at a head 
and know exactly what to do. Here I'm just cleaning out the bottom part. Um, I clean out the dark and then I use the corner of the blade above the dark to blend them together. Brushing away the hair with a scalp master and doing a little bit of detail work in the dark patchy areas. Um, a very good important thing to know about fading is that there are lumps and dents in the head. So you're really looking at the gradients. You don't want to spend too much time thinking about the guards, the systems, and things like that. Look at the lightness and the darkness of the fade. Look at how it transitions from nothing to hair. The reason that's happening is because I'm being very cognizant of what the hair does when I cut it. Being very aware that there could be a dent here. Something bulges out. When there's a dent, it looks darker. So that means you got to go shorter. If there is a bump, then it's going to look lighter because the hair is going to be spread. And you, can, you know, you can see a bump on somebody's head and you're aware where the bumps are because of the way the hair and the light are interacting with each other. So... If there's a bump, a protrusion of the head, you wanna leave more hair there. If there is a dent, then you wanna take away more hair to just to, to give the image that it is transitioning. The priority is the fade, not the technique, not the not the line. That's why they're called guidelines. Supposed to guide you. Not not literally like um, you don't wanna to be too dependent on it. Here, I'm cutting the top. Um, I usually just cut in the middle like this cut my this is this is me creating another guideline There are guidelines on the side and there are guidelines on the top So I'm creating a line in the middle and as you can see when I go this way You can see that it's cut right there at my fingertips. And I'm just pulling it to the side Bringing that line on the side and making the whole top even and this is a nice little technique to make sure it's really simple if you um know exactly what you're doing and you can just keep using your comb pick it up i really can't even find this comb i don't know what happened to it i'm really i'm tight this is my favorite comb this is a motif comb um uh, if you saw the matthew video this is the red comb he was talking about and i'm just here evening out the sides and you want to make sure that when you're using a shear too not to pass your second knuckle because passing your second knuckle is where there's a little more meat on your fingers it's not as straight it's not as sturdy and you easily cut yourself um, these are six inch shears paul mitchell shears um these are pretty quality shears um i really like the way they cut i haven't i have to be honest haven't used too many shears so i'm not as well versed in them as i am with say clippers or combs but these work well for what i try to do i want to get in contact with a lot more shears so that i can have a little more um say i don't know experience with them so i, I can be more educated um, but it's, as you can see, I'm literally just cutting it along the sides and it's going to be even on the top and what you do with the sides and you bring it down, you want to picture that the, the hair is riding up the side of the bridge of the head and connecting with the top. So you see me going on the side like that. You want to make sure it's rounded there so that when you dry it, it looks, looks pretty clean. Um, uh, in school here, I'm just doing a little... A little uh, scissor work in school right we learn that I'm in cosmetology school for those who don't know I'm finishing in October but we learned that your your system has to be styled you have to be thinking of style from beginning to end so even from when you do your your um your line of demarcation when you do your guidelines when you're cutting when you're refining when you're blow-drying you have to be styling in every single system so here, oh here, there's some pieces of hair I need to, to cut. But like you need to cut into a style. You need to fade into a style. You need to shape up into a style. Don't just get lost in the systems. We can get distracted by guidelines, by shape ups, you know. And and these these little systems guide what the style becomes. But the the, the style should be the priority the entire time. Here, um, I am just lining him up. He didn't want a hard lineup. And this is also very important to, to give your client exactly what they need. If you look at this shape up, I'm, I'm hardly doing anything. Hardly doing anything. Um, in high school, I used to watch a whole lot of Victor Barber. And this is something that he really, um, he really focused on. It was like, you want to make sure that it's natural. The most important thing about a, a, a haircut is how it lives when it leaves, your, leaves the, the shop. Um, you don't want to go too far back and then the haircut looks ugly in four days. You want to make sure he feels good, looks good, and is confident for at least two, three weeks. Try and make uh, these haircuts last long. 
not just look good for a picture not just look good for Instagram you know that's not the goal if it looks good for them for the week it should also look good for Instagram and here I just we wet the hair just to to blow dry it a little bit now there is a lot that goes into the technique of blow drying here I'm just rounding out the front in this particular haircut they're only sh the hairs are short so there's not much I can actually do there's not a lot that's happening um, but in order to understand blow dryers better you got to know what it's doing it's both wicking the hair off both wicking the water off the hair and it's also evaporating the water so blowing wicking drying evaporating and what what hair does when it's heated it's more malleable um, it, it sounds self-explanatory it's kind of like putting water to clay or heating plastic you know, it really just, it allows your hair to be more malleable, more movable, more formable. And when it cools down, it hardens. So this is why you want to blow dry in the direction or the style of the hair that you want it to be in. And then after that happens, we use product to keep it formed for longer periods of time, right? You can blow dry something and not put any product in it. But what will happen is the wear and tear of the, of the air movement, stuff that you do in life will allow it to be more um it'll get more messy you know what i'm saying so now i'm gonna do a little bit of refining after i cut it because what also what happens when the water is wet water is wet what am i saying what happens when the hair is wet is that it elongates and when it dries it shortens so now i just put some product in to keep that form and really get the look and the style that i want well that's enough for today's video that is it i hope you guys liked it thanks for all the love on instagram if you guys do not mind. You can hit me up on there. Any questions, any tutorials that you want, you can just DM me, leave a comment. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And if you really like this video, please drop a like. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.